Welcome to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Morning. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Yeah, the docs say he's gonna be laid up for a while, assuming he doesn't get any worse. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there's about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at him. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. to Mick and Ross for all your shopping needs. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs.
Welcome back, friend. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Hold up, what's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. than ever. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the King, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Our envoy was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Things are tense on the strip right now. Well, 
Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. Looks like Gamora's under new management. I wonder what happened. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Sure can. What did you want to know? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. I don't know, maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. We're different than other gangs, and not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The kings are about an idea, you see where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing, where every man is a king in his own right. Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around, and if you play your cards right, things might change. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Near as I can tell, some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. 
There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Julie represents the followers of the Apocalypse. They're a group that tries to help people out whenever they can, so we get along just fine. If you ever need to get patched up, one of their docks will have you right as rain in no time flat. They sell supplies, too, or used to. Heard they were having trouble bringing stuff in or keeping up with the demand or something lately. Did you want to know about anyone else? Them twins run the Atomic Wrangler, the only working casino here in Freeside. It's become pretty much the place to go around these parts. Give it a whirl when you've got some time. Now, was there anyone else you wanted to know about? They're a family-run business from out west that deal in weapons, mostly. A word of caution, though, they're not a friendly bunch. Not at all. Their store is just past the Wrangler and sells all kinds of fancy weapons that most people around here can't afford. Anyone else you wanted to know about? Mick and Ralph sell all sorts of things at a small store over by the East Gate. They've done all right by us, and they'll do all right by you. You want to know about anyone else? Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? All right, I'll see you later. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Talking to me. Smoke these guys already. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Why you t 
The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. You want someone dead? Really dead? Hey, what's up? I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Ask away. Normally, we don't let outsiders join, and you'd be the first female king ever. But I think I can make an exception in your case. From this day forward, you're one of us. And no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours, talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. All right. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. Great to see you again. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem.
Okay. Tell the king we thank him for looking out for us. Hope what I remembered helps. What's up? See you around. Personal. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. Been seeing a lot more soldiers around. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient. But you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little barmans. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me.
not the king's dog. Hey, isn't that the king's dog? I heard some squatters talking about some fancy pants rangers coming into the area soon. Like we need more NCR here. Is there something else I can do for you? It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Yes, yes. Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before.
Have a seat. This will take a while. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor... 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Fair enough. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs>
Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. For now. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. I'll wait. to Kaisar. The mechanical dog you have with you. Where did you get it? Oh? Such things are common in Denver. But I didn't know that other cities had them as well. I ask because Kaisar once had a similar pet. But it was lost during a battle. Yeah? We breed them mostly, but sometimes we get some good ones from Denver. That whole city is overrun with them. Been doing it since I was a boy. The mongrels know to listen up when I start talking to them. Okay. 
Lupa. Yes, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. She's getting old, but she's still a tough old bitch. Aren't you, girl? Yeah. Cyberdog? Like the ones I've seen up in Denver? I know what you're talking about. And it would make Lupa immortal, in a way. Not too common, but you still see him around. You give Lupa a worthy death in the arena, and her brain is yours. Don't let your guard down just because she's old, though. Oh, and standard arena rules still apply. You don't get to wear armor, and you get only a machete for a weapon. All right. You've been a good dog, Lupa. Die well, girl. Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Let's take a look. Exceptional synapse responses. Descended from some type of cattle dog, I imagine. If you want me to transplant this brain into Rex, he'll become more durable. Have a seat. This will take a while.